Child Rights International says the decision to expel seven female students from the boarding house of Ejisuman Senior High School is inappropriate. Executive Director Bright appears asking the Ghana Education Service to reinstate them and help them with counselling. The students were expelled after a viral video of them in explicit sex language caused public uproar. Last week, seven female students of the Ejusuman Senior High School were debordinized over the content of a video which went viral on social media. Management of the school subsequently took the disciplinary action. But Child Rights International says even though the act is condemnable, it disagreed with the action taken by the management of the school. When issues of this nature happen, there's a way and manner that we need to handle it. Therefore, Parading the student in the presence of other students as a way of providing discipline or punishment to them would also condemn that act. Then again also publishing the names of the student in the communication that they issue to the press and any other person uh, would also condemn that act because indeed it goes against the right of every child to dignity and privacy. The NGO further condemned the punitive measures meted out to them, saying publishing their names is clearly a violation of their fundamental human rights. Even within our juvenile justice system, when children commit offence, even if it is murder, the law requires that the, the privacy and dignity of these children must be kept. It should not be exposed to, the, to anyone. Even the court, when they are sitting and they are discussing issues relating to children, the law do not require that their privacy and dignity must be exposed or we should not carry out an activities that would degrade their fundamental human rights. So these in certain terms will condemn the act in exposing the children to public. He therefore requested the Ghana Education Service to direct management of the school to reinstate the affected students in the boarding house. We as organization support punitive measures, especially when it goes against the rules and regulations of school.